In Panama, a new era in global shipping launched today, a third lane, nine years in the making and able to handle some of the biggest cargo ships in the world, passed a critical test ahead of its official opening at the end of the month. As Mary Thompson explains, it could reshape trade and the world economy. Under a blistering sun, workers gathered along the banks of the Panama Canal's new lane. Costing five and a quarter billion dollars, it faced a crucial test, the passage of the first ship through its Atlantic locks. It defines a moment. The moment Thursday, a success, according to Giuseppe Cuerta, CEO of the project. Today has been extremely smooth, exceptionally smooth. The gates operated very well, so all the parameters have worked exceptionally well. The test making way for the lane's official opening at the end of June and a new era in global shipping. It means a shorter route. It means uh, a reduction of CO2 emissions. So that's, all, that's good for the world. It means uh, better prices for the people that are putting their merchandise because they're going to get economies of scale. A third larger than the canal's old lanes, bigger ships that carry over 45 percent of the world's cargo can now access this 50-mile shortcut between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans for the first time ever. Here's a canal's Ilya Murata. The biggest container vessel that can come through the existing locks can carry between 4,400 to 5,000 containers. In the new locks, we'll be able to put ships that carry up to 14,000 containers. Boston Consulting Group estimates this could cut the cost of shipping goods from Asia to the East Coast by 30 percent, as long as the ports and railroads are ready. And they're spending billions to get there. Before this lane, most big ships went to the West Coast because they couldn't sail through the canal. Now East Coast ports are dredging, updating, and expanding their facilities to accommodate the big ships and move cargo railroads will take as far west as Detroit. 102 years old, the canal considered a wonder of the modern world. Its new addition, with gates 10 stories high and lanes that cut crossing time by two hours, a major feat as well. This is uh, obviously the result of 110 million man hours of work and almost six years, 30,000 people have, have worked on this project. A project for the ages, ushering in a new age of shipping. At the Panama Canal, I'm Mary Thompson for Nightly Business Report.